Hello everyone. Uh, we are having a video on objective pronouns in Turkish, part two. Uh, I'm going to introduce you the objective pronouns and there's going to be an example. So let's go through them. Bana. Bana. It means me, or usually, mostly, it's like to me. It depends. But it's mostly, I mean, has a kind of meaning like to me. Bana bak. Bana bak. Look at me. It means look at me. Sana. Sana. It means you. Sana verdim. Sana verdim. It means I gave it to you. Ona. Ona. If you remember, O means he, she, it, and here ona means him, her, and it. Actually, the suffix is a, but um, in order to have a, um, an easier pronunciation, we have this n sound between the two uh, vowels. So here we have ona which means him, her, it, or usually to him, to her, to it. Ona bak means look at him, or look at her, or look at it. You can use it for um, three of them. Bize, bizlere. It means us or to us. Biz means we. Uh, bizler means again we. It's the plural form. It is already plural, but sometimes they make a plural of plural. Um, here we have an example like bize gel or bizlere gel, which means come to us or come to our house or come to our place size sizlere it means you again we have this sis as a plural you and we have the plural of plural for sis here we have sizler and with the suffix e we have it as objective pronouns pronoun. So here we have an example. Size söyledim. Or sizlere söyledim. I told you. It means I told you. Let me read it one more time. Size söyledim. Sizlere söyledim. Onlara Onlara. It means them or to them. Onlara dokunma. Onlara dokunma. It means don't touch them. Onlara dokunma. Okay. We have şuna. Buna, and we use it for close objects or sometimes people um, as it, but we mean this. The example is şuna bak or buna bak, means look at this. And we have the plural form of them, şunlara, bunlara, which means them, 
For close objects, which uh, we mean these, şunlara bak or bunlara bak, it means look at them. Ona means it for um, objects which are not close. We use it for saying that. Ona dokunma. Ona dokunma. It means don't touch that. Onlara them. We use it for those. Actually, I forgot to write it here. We use it for uh, objects which are far away. Onlara git. We use it for um, human beings as well. For example, we say, go to their house. Go to their house. Onlara git. Okay, let's sum up. Here we have bana, me, sana, you, ona, him, her, it, bize, us, size, you, onlara, them. And here we have şuna, it, şunlara, them, for this and these, buna, it, for this, bunlara, them, for these, ona, it, that, onlara, them, for those. Okay, uh, guys, if you like the video and if it was helpful for you, don't forget to give it a thumb up. And uh, if you want to subscribe, you're free to subscribe and uh, follow more videos. And I would be very happy with your support. Take your notes, take care, and see you on next video.